how to cook the perfect steak. I know everybody's saying it. So many steak tutorials on the internet, but that lip lick got me hooked. The secret of a good steak, we want to get rid of the moisture. The secret of all my cooking is starting with bloody meat. Hiya. Do you want to put in enough salt? We're going to rub it in. Put some salt and then rub it in. And we're going to put it back in the on the other side. And also the other side. Put some on the side. As well as the side. Every time I'm watching somebody doing it wrong, I'm like, mama me. If I do this right, I hope he'll be like, nice job team. We're going to put this in the fridge, friends. At least 45 minutes. Minutes. We're gonna put our friends in the fridge for 45 minutes. The process of osmosis is gonna um, remove, you're gonna see it's gonna. I think he's trying to say that the salt will draw out the moisture from the meat. So now we're ready to cook. And you know, it's all about the cost. So an avocado oil. Just canola oil here, but we're still gonna get a nice crust. Salt we got already. I think he just did a nay nay. I like to get it about 400 degrees. If you don't have one of those, just keep an eye on it. Keeping an eye on it. Beautiful, big, big steak. Don't touch it. When you preface a subject matter with beautiful, big, big, it makes me want to touch it. <laughs> if you push over here, it's medium rare. If you push it over there, it's rare. If you put it there, it's well done. Hello? Try to touch your wife. I think he's trying to say that everybody's hand is different, so you can't do the palm test for doneness. And we're starting to build a crust. We're going to put it in the oven, total of about six minutes. Once it develops a crust, we're going to put it in the oven for six minutes. We're going to take it out. We're going to add a little bit of butter. While I render the fat on the side, I'm going to put in a little bit of butter. Fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. A shallots. And garlic. And garlic. Look at this. Look at this. You baby. Look at this little baby. We're like a well done. God bless you. It doesn't matter. It's don't let anybody tell you what's the wrong way to eat it. That's a really good point. It seems like there's no right way of cooking a steak on the internet. Just do whatever works for you. This is a hundred dollar thermometer. What the? F We're looking for 120 to take it out. This is a free thermometer I got from school. We're looking for 120. I'm going to put it back in the oven for a little bit. We're going to put it right there. And we're going to take a little bit of this right there on top. Once it reaches 120, we're going to put the butter on top. You need to let it rest about 10 minutes. Let the steak rest for about 10 minutes. Ding. Beautiful. 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 Oh, beautiful. 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 <laughs> bon appetit. All right. Bon appetito, bitch. Oh, sorry. I've been watching QCP too much. This looks tiny bit overcooked, but let's try it. It's extremely tender. The salt not only perfectly seasoned the steak, but also intensified the crust. I think Max, the meat guy, calls it dry brine. I'll start doing that from now on. All right. Thank you.